Okay. Hey, YouTube. Hey, the you to the tube. Um, I've just woken up. It's like fucking shit. <laughs> it's like 2 p.m. Um, I thought I'd have another bash at this whole, you know, vlogging thing. As you can see, I've got no makeup on. This is brilliant. Um, yeah, screw it. I'm gonna go balls deep in this vlogging thing and hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> uh, see you later with my face on. Okay guys, now I have my face on, we can get talking as to what the, the I can't swear, which is really messing with my head, um, because I know YouTube have changed their, you know, thang, and I don't really want to get my video deleted, to be fair, but yeah, um, from now on, you're going to be seeing a lot more of me on the YouTubes, because I want to do some vlogging, because, um, why the heck not <laughs> censored so yeah basically i just want to start doing like vlogs when i go out and like vlog sort of reviews if you will uh maybe that makes sense to you i don't know so i just want to start off with this organized vlog because my last vlog was terrible and it was the at the the vapor expo the return in birmingham in the uk and i was like yeah i'm gonna do some vlogging uh, the entire weekend because i went for all three days and wow what i just what i was really disappointed in myself to be fair it wasn't organized I didn't get that much footage that I could upload um, and <laughs> I still don't know how to work iMovie or YouTube and or anything. I mean I've only got two um, videos on this channel and um, so yeah I'm gonna try and do all of this crazy stuff as well as I can just want to talk about like the recap of the whole entire expo there was one earlier this year at sort of the same venue kind of it was at the NEC in Birmingham I don't know if you guys know that it's just a big really big place with loads of venues in it doing their thing and it was held at the same venue as it was last year but kind of through an entrance where it was and there was a different place it was held at the same venue but not at the same time so that's interesting but it's really nice like i like it when you see expos and they have like the big red carpet and the flooring is nice because last year the thing that really let me down about the vapor expo was the flooring i don't know why i literally was fixated on the flooring so much that it just ruined the entire event for me. <laughs> the flooring was just horrible. Um, it wasn't pretty to look at. There was like dips and stuff in it and it just look, looked really gross basically. But this time round, I thought like, because earlier this year the expo was so good and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought, oh, what if it can't live up to my expectations again? And it, it did, it blew my mind literally blew my mind how enjoyable the expo was it was so good to see the bearded vapor 88 he came in all the way from new jersey or somewhere in america um 
good to hang out with Judith's mm, 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 boy and various other people. I don't go to vape expos to like freebie hunt. I go to like talk to people and you know interact with companies that I know and be like oh what new stuff do you have out? Tell me all the new things. I want to expand my knowledge of what products you have. But I have a few products here that I want to go through and tell you about because you know they went out their way to give me juice so I'm going to talk to you about it. It's mandatory and plus it, they're really nice juices. First up I took a trip to vape importers and I fucking love this shit out of Dexter. He's such a suave man <laughs> in all his glory and he always looks suited and booted and it's really awesome and I got some of these which is really cool because it's schlurp. <laughs> And I think you may recognise what the branding is from, but it's still really cool. Whatevs. And inside, I know these bottles are really, really starting to get popular. Which is the Gorilla Bowls. And the flavours are immense. They're fruity flavours, which is literally right up my goddamn street. I love fruity flavours. They're my favourite because I can't vape like cakey flavours like all day but give me fruit flavour and I will vape it forever. Moving on, um, what I got next from vape importers, um, I think we're just going to cover the vape importers things that I got, um, is this stuff. The boxing is incredible, very impressed because I'm a very like skilly death you know, morbid sort of person. <laughs> so Get Weird is awesome and that is awesome. The, <laughs> what's it say? The, the Weirdo's Creamery. <laughs> and it's pretty cool because it's got, you know, cream there. It's got the name of the flavor there. Obviously you've got three milligram there. Is there anything else that I haven't noticed on here? I think that's about it. So it's got like the brand name the name of the flavour, the awesome get weird thing on the top of it, and just that little cream. So basically to get the juice out of the box, all you have to do is open the trunk or the boot if you're from England. <laughs> trunk for you Americans and boot for us English people. And then you take it out the boot or the trunk, or whatever you want to call it, and then you're left with the actual juice itself. Unfortunately, I don't have flavour profiles at hand for these, but I know there's one free one, I think this is the, the one that smells delicious. It's a, it is like a dessert flavour, I don't, can't quite put my finger on it, but it smells amazing, and when I do like reviews, I will review these obviously because they smell awesome and I think they're from the same creators of Bad Drip. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, they they should be. I mean, yeah, Bad Drip. So they, <laughs> they can never do wrong. Bad Drip can never do wrong. All their flavors are literally just the best and all their creations including i mean i got their their new obviously bad drip flavor which is i don't care bear or don't care bear rather <laughs> so that's cool <laughs> i like that the labels on them are insane as well and the new one from clown which is called schizo um i just really really appreciate the artwork coming from like a very artisty kind of a background and spending most of my life doing artistic things i can really really appreciate the artwork and everything that's gone into the labels and the bottles and the branding as a whole so I, yeah thank you vaping pores for those awesome treats i'd also just like to show you what i'm vaping today it is the recoil 
straight from own boy OC himself. Thank you so much for sending me this, this pretty little RDA right here. Flavour for days. I enjoy my flavour. Don't really care about clouds, just all about flavour. And my favourite all time juice ever in the whole entire world is cloud juice, palmberry lemonade, and it's so tasty. It is a pomegranate blueberry lemonade flavour and I, oh, if you like lemonades I really really do recommend this. It is just <sighs> tickety boo. <laughs> so on that note guys, um, keep an eye out. I'll be uploading more vlogs, be doing more reviews and I'll put the Instagrams to all the juices I've mentioned in this vlog, podcast, whatever you want to call it, below in the description. So keep your eyes out guys and peace out. <laughs>